Hi guys, it's Kylie the Jellyfish. I'm making this video because I, I, I've been wanting to make this video for a while. I just, I miss making videos and enjoying it. I, I used to use it as kind of my way of therapy. I, I would just talk to my camera and like, I didn't even mind editing back then. Um, but I just, I really miss the days when I was able to just, like, do it all and not worry about it, not feel like I had any obligations. Um, I don't know, so something about being a YouTuber is, like, it comes to a point, no matter what, comes to a point where people are expecting something from you, and if you just don't upload, you're, you're losing everything that you've built. Um... I feel like I can't even consider myself a YouTuber anymore because I barely make content that I, like, I don't make it the way I used to. Like, maybe three years ago, I think, I used to upload a video every single day. Every day. And that is crazy to me. And that's when most of my videos started to pick up. Like, I started getting views, I started getting subscribers and fans. Uh, I still have, like, people on Instagram, um, and, like, that stuff isn't, isn't the important part to me. The important part is being able to feel like I'm doing this for me, and it, it, it recently has hit the point where I just am stressed all the time. I, I now, I'm now a hairstylist. I'm on the floor. I have my career started, and I work... Sunday through Thursday and I just have two days to myself and I, I'm in a I'm in a really serious committed wonderful relationship and then I have friends that I hang out with and if if we don't make plans to hang out we never see each other and then that's how friends fade away unfortunately and so there's so many little things out there that's like I need to be doing this or this or this or this and it, it's kind of crazy because whenever I come home and I'm exhausted after a long day. My recent schedule up until now, up until this week, it used to be I get up, go to work at 10 in the morning, and then I came home around 9 p.m. exhausted because my entire day consists of me running around, barely getting a break. If I'm lucky, I have time to sit down and eat. If not, I'm shoveling food in my face every moment that I can slip into the break room when there's not too many people in there. Like, that's my everyday thing. And then, by the end of the day, I'm so exhausted that I just, I want to go lay down, relax, not have to use my brain, and then fall asleep. And then part of that is also waiting for my boyfriend to come home and then and then getting to catch up with him because he's my best friend and we just get to like talk about our day and understand each other. Um, and then I feel like YouTube doesn't fit into that anymore. And this isn't my breaking up with YouTube video. I'm still making content, but I, f I just... I miss talking to you guys. I miss the connection I had with YouTube and I, I miss the way I was able to express myself online and, and just get feedback from my viewers, from you guys. Uh, like, I feel like I've lost that element of it all. I became really, really sick of editing videos and that I think is one of the biggest reasons why I've stopped making so much content because it's not the uploading and it's not the filming that gets to me, it's the editing. And just so you guys know, like, to get a good editor, to get someone who actually edits videos well and stuff like that, they usually charge around $100 per video or more. And honestly, I, I don't even track my analytics and my statistics very well, but I'm pretty sure like, I don't make that that much money on YouTube um, and I'm not trying to spend I'm not trying to overspend my money just because like I want my channel to do well it's it's more so about me enjoying it and so I'm, I don't feel like forcing myself to to like have to spend more money on something that I don't think is worth it 
just to measure up to what I used to enjoy about being a YouTuber. Now, I, this is my first, this is my first day off after the first week of me actually being an official hairstylist. And I had just a very stressful week. It's, it's anxiety every single time someone new sits in your seat. And it's not that I don't enjoy it. I love being a hairstylist. I love doing what I do. But you have to also realize it's, it's mentally and emotionally draining. It's physically draining. My back, my neck, and my shoulders hurt all the time. I'm having a lot of issues. I'm having so many issues. And, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, it's not like... I don't know. I'm... I'm also just like constantly stressed out and then like I don't know my schedule is like opposite to my boyfriend right now so if we want to go do something it's it's a little hard to just find time to be with him when it's not three in the morning when he gets home after after a shift and I don't know if this is like the moment, <laughs> this is the moment in my life where I just like kind of, I'm growing up <laughs> like a little bit at a time. And I, you know, I miss the good old days where I could just sit down after I come home from school, edit a, you know, film a video and then edit it right away. And um, I'm too tired to edit anymore. I. I love making videos though and I guess I, I don't even know when I'm gonna get this video out today is um, May 24th 2019 it's 8 22 p.m. I, I I've been crying all day I cried so loudly in my car driving home yesterday I've just um, so so starting last week last week uh, Last Friday, I woke up and all day long there was a continuous stream of tear running down my face and I couldn't understand why. And then by the next day, I was just having both eyes water constantly. By day three, it was my first day on the floor, Sunday, and my eyes wouldn't stop watering so then I had to wear less makeup. And then I had to wear less makeup the next day because it was still too much makeup. And the thing is, I don't wear much makeup, I just wear my eye, eye makeup because I like eye makeup and that's it. But that's all that was watering off. Um, so I, you know, it's kind of like a mental thing. It's like when you put on your cute underwear, even though no one will see it because you just feel more confident wearing them. When I wear my eye makeup or when I wear my cute outfits, it makes me feel like my best self. And then going into a situation where you're vulnerable, like your first day on the floor as an official person of your career and then all of a sudden like something's going wrong like your makeup is just falling off of your face and then you have to tell all your clients hey I'm sorry it looks like I'm crying continuously but I promise you I'm not and then it's just like I, I couldn't understand it some people were saying it was allergies some people were saying it was it was um, clogged duct eye ducts tear ducts I don't know and and then yesterday it randomly stopped but then what started was I got sick my throat hurts really bad whenever I swallow right now I was in so much pain yesterday after doing hair all day like my mood was getting so bad that I was just pissed off at everything I I ate I barely ate anything I had like five pieces of sushi all day long and <laughs> yeah it was like it was bad um I'm struggling with pushing myself to try to work out again. I haven't worked out in over a year now. I haven't, um, I try my best, but it's really hard for me to upkeep a, a healthy diet um, because I, I don't have time to eat during the day and then I just snack all night because I, I it's my only time to enjoy food. I, want, I need my time to enjoy food. And I, I can't do that during the day, but it's unhealthy at night. And I honestly, at this point, I'm old enough that my metabolism is slowing down. I know it doesn't look like it to you guys. You might not see it on my photos on Instagram. But I'm gaining a little bit of weight. I, I'm 10 pounds heavier than I was three years ago. Um, 
you know what, I'm closer to four years ago, I'm, I'm about 15 pounds heavier now, and uh, not that that's like a horrible thing, like that, that's what happens when you grow up a little, but I just, I know that it's all going towards my gut, like it's all going to my belly, and then I'm like telling myself I need to work out, or else I'm gonna like gain weight to the point where I'm uncomfortable in my body, or I'm I'm self-conscious and I just don't want to get to that point because you know everyone wants to take care of themselves and and not to say that if if you're heavier than me that you're you're a fat piece of shit or anything I don't mean that whatsoever what I'm saying is like I'm comfortable with the way I am now and I need to keep that up and if I'm going down this path and not changing anything I'm only gonna get worse and then I'm gonna get more stressed out and I'm gonna be unhappy and unhealthy and I'm just like I don't know, it all comes to me at once. I think I just, like, I've been looking... I, th tonight, tonight in particular, I I was having a lot of moments that, that I just kept snapping and then just things kept falling apart mentally and then I needed a friend and I texted a few people and, like, everyone is either not responding or, I don't know, j just... I'm overwhelmed and I was on my way, I was sitting in my car about to go meet my friend for dinner, and then she was like, oh, I'm I'm out for dinner with my coworkers, and I was like, oh, okay, I'll go back in my house, <laughs> and um, I just started crying again because of that, and I realized I've been ma meaning to make this video for a while, and you, you know what the other silly thing is? I didn't make this video because there wasn't a moment where I had alone time where I already looked good, like my makeup is done right now. I just did my makeup to go out. <clears throat> if I didn't have makeup on, I probably wouldn't be making this video. And that's so silly. It's so vain. It's like, why why do I feel like I need to put an image on? Like, I, I need to look a certain way to talk to my camera. And the thing is, I have made videos without makeup on. I've done that. But I feel like, I don't know, I'm at a weird point in my life where everything is a big deal to me. I'm just struggling for for right now, but that's okay. On the good on a good note, I'm on the floor. That's awesome. I've been doing good. That's awesome. My relationship has been going so well. Uh, we've been Scott and I have been together for over a year now. I am still best friends with Sam the Ma'am. Uh, he's in a lot of my YouTube videos. If you guys have ever remembered that, he's my best friend. Um, I won three first place awards at a company award show, annual award show. No one's ever done that before, so it was a very big deal for me, for my location, and for my company. Um, yeah, like I, I made a name for myself in my company and in my small section of the industry. And then I, I did goat yoga. I, I did go yoga with goats. <laughs> Um, I had a video all about that, actually. And I also vlogged my experience at the award show. I was actually a model for the award show. And um, in order to be the model, I had to have my hair bleached to oblivion, basically. And I realized last year, around this time, my hair was at the exact same point. Like, if you look back to last year, right now, my hair was in choppy bangs, super fried... PC bob with really short layers that were actually breakage that I was trying to hide. Um, that's me right now. I've got breakage for days. If you pull these pieces out, it's just it's just short. <laughs> it's all short. Um, but I have extensions. And I'm actually working on a video right now with those extensions. Also, you can see behind me that there is a bunch of outfits laying out on my bed. I'm planning another video I'm going to film next week about um, me trying Dolls Kill outfits on every single day of the week. And wearing those all day. Uh, let's just hope I'm able to get videos out on time. Because I've never been good at that. I've always struggled to make content that's um, fresh right from recording. 
I, I take forever to edit anyways, even when I like editing. <laughs> okay, um, I think I'm done with my rant now. I'm okay. I just needed a moment. Alright. Well, I miss you guys. If you have any words for me, I'd be happy to read them in the comments below. Thank you all who are watching for sticking around so far. Um, it means a lot to me that you guys support my passions. That's a big deal. Okay. Well, stay epic, everyone. Bye.